Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome to the Lipstick Swatch family. My name is Shemaine and I do lipstick swatches. If you have been with me, I thank you for your continued support. Today's video is gonna be super quick because I only have three products to swatch. They are lip glosses from NYX and they are called the Diamond Drip Lip Glosses. So there are only three shades that I currently see on Ulta. And this is what we have. These are also $9 a piece. Woo! But I just want to share with you some of the key features of this lip gloss. Because for $9, I hope it's actually diamonds in these lip glosses. So key features, ultra reflective high shine lip gloss. Available in a range of pearly shades. I wouldn't say a range, I would just say a few shades because there's only three, unless they plan to come out with more shades. But for now, there's only three. Sheer medium coverage, and they are cruelty free, which is an important factor for many of us, including myself, so that's nice to know. And now that we have all that information, let's just jump into the swatches. So the first shade we're gonna swatch here is called Spark of Magic. If you hear my dogs barking in the background, they are outside and they're barking up a storm. I don't know why. Okay, so Spark of Magic, it's this yellow, looks like a yellow tone here. Let's see what the description says or spark of magic. So it's a sheer orange base with pink glitter shift. Okay, sheer orange with pink glitter shift. There's no scent. Pretty neutral, I do not smell a thing. So that's a bonus point for them because not all of us like to have scented products. I don't mind it, but some people don't like it. All right. Well, I think I want to do one more coat. It's it's not really diamondy and drippiny to me. So I want to do one more coat. So, is it diamondy and drippiny to you guys? Because I don't see it. Like I always say, the colors are gonna show up differently on your lips depending on how pigmented your lips are. And mine are pretty decently pigmented, so it's sometimes harder for shades to show up on my lips, especially when they are described as sheer. The glitters are there, and the good news is that you don't actually feel the glitter on the lip gloss or on your lips but I don't see the diamond D drippity part but this shade is called spark of magic Second shade up is called Princess of the Day and this one is described as a sheer violet base with blue and violet dual chrome glitter. Well, we shall see. So, Princess of the Day. I actually like that name. That's a pretty cool name. So, sheer violet base with dual chrome glitter. And like I mentioned at the start of the video, these were described as being sheer. The first shade didn't really show up on me, so this one looks a little bit more promising compared to the first shade. And I think I will also use one more layer on this one just to be fair across the board. Mm, yeah, so I see a little bit of that violet color. So I want to do one more layer to see 
how much of it will actually show out. Okay, so yeah, this one showed up more than the first one did. The first one was described as an orange shade and this one is described as a violet blue based shade. And I can see the difference in this shade. It definitely did show up, but this one has a little bit more diamond drippity factor to me compared to the first one. So um, let's just see what that other shade will look like. Lastly, but not leastly, we have the shade called Dressed to Kill, which is described as a plum base with glitter. Um, so this is what it looks like. To be honest, it looks brown from the tube, but it is described as a plum base. So we shall find out here in just a second. I see more dark brown or a brown shade than plum. I don't know if this is plum. I mean, if it is, it's super, super, super duper sheer. I see like very small hints of plum but I don't think it's a plum color. It's not a bad color. I just don't see that much plum in there. But this is the second coat. Well, I guess it gives it a little bit more color when I applied that second coat. And maybe you can see a little bit more of the plum coming out. So yeah, I see a little bit more of that plum shade but I also see the gold undertones in there. I like that it's more neutral as well and a more wearable color to wear to work, to the doctor's office, uh, to the grocery store. We really can't go anywhere these days, can we? <laughs> so yeah, there's no place for us to go right now, but um, whenever things get back to normal, this can be a shade that you can wear for your regular, regular daily activities when you want to look a little bit more put together. You know what? This shade is really growing on me. I like this a lot, more than the first one. The first one was a little bit too sheer. This one I feel like is the perfect flush of color and it's seriously grown on me. The thing is that it's described as a plum shade, but if you are of a lighter skin tone, it may show up as plum on you. But on my skin tone, this is what it looks like. So my pigmented lips drowns the plum color in this shade and um, this is what it turns out to be. But like I said, if you are lighter, then you more than likely will see that plum shade come through but I'm okay with it. So now for a little recap, let's see, um, let's talk about some of the pros and cons and go over the features. So it's an ultra reflective high shine lip gloss. Um, it is, and I bet these will look super beautiful at night just because of that glitter feature that's in there. Um, that's when you want to sport any type of sparkle or glitter lip gloss is at night because the features of that lip gloss will really come through when the light reflects it from different angles. So you probably won't have as much fun in the daytime with these as you will at night. Um, available in a range of pearly shades. Like I said, there's only three lip glosses. So we'll just leave it at that. You can make your decision about which shade you think may or may not suit your skin tone. Uh, sheer medium coverage. It's definitely sheer. The first one was the most sheer from the three, but you can build it up a little bit more, but I wouldn't suggest that because of the, the way the formula feels. Um, I think if you build it up any more than two layers, you will start to see the lip gloss collect and look all nasty because I kind of get that feeling from it already that it's 
that's how it's gonna end up on your lips. Sometimes you can just tell, but so far so good. It's evenly spread and I don't see anything like glooping or sticking or separating on my lips. So, so far I'm still okay with the formula, you know? So yeah, um, what else? The price, these are nine bucks a piece. We don't even have anywhere to go right now to wear these lip glosses. So that's pretty steep to me. And you know, if you have the coins, you can go ahead and purchase these. But if not, I would wait for these to go on sale to be honest, because $9 is a little bit too steep right now when we don't even have anywhere to go but the grocery store. Catch my drift. So I will leave that decision up to you guys. Those were just some of my thoughts on this lip gloss. And if you guys have tried them, let me know in the comment section below. Also, if there's any specific uh, lip glosses or lipsticks that you guys want me to swatch, then drop me a comment in the comment section below as well. But that's all I got for today. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you guys want to continue to see more content like this from me. Again, thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in my next swatch video. Bye.